I have seen so much fucking garbage. I have seen so much fucking bullshit going around. Uh, the the harassment, um, the the harassment that's targeted at individual people, the harassment that's targeted at small content creators for making a single statement about about their opinion on something uh, and then them getting blown up for forever it's just it never it's never ending it's never fucking ending every single fucking content creator i know especially fem every single fem content i'll just be straight up about it every single fem content creator i know just deals with a never ending cascade of harassment never ending it's horrible we're all miserable we're all fucking hurting it sucks we're being fucking tortured by fucking idiots on the internet And, uh, and, like, the platforms don't seem interested in doing anything about it. The, the, the community is bringing in people like Lauren Southern, and I just don't see, a, I don't see a path, a path forward for the debate space right now. At least not now. So, uh, as you know, for the last couple of months... I have been focusing um, on original content, on original commentary, on video game reviews, on talking about big subjects, on spending time with my chat, on socializing on my Discord chat. Well, the last couple of weeks I've been a little bad about it, but that's just because I've been overwhelmed. But uh, I've been doing history stuff, um, and and yeah, uh, I don't think. Um, I just don't think right now the panel scene or the debate scene is in the place where it can be an actual space of meaningful political change. And the reason why I say that is because uh, the price for entry for anyone who's not a white cis guy, a right-leaning white cis guy, is, um, is phenomenal. The price for entry is too much. And uh, I don't blame anybody for not doing that. Some people will be like, yeah, well, you know, by not enduring the toxicity, you're just letting the problem get worse. No, that's like ridiculous. It's, it's, it's reach or throw, don't go. Same rules as, as, as fucking swimming at the beach. You can't jump in and help someone if it will make you drown yourself. Well, of course, yes, that's one of the problems. That's one of the reasons why a lot of, ex you know, why a lot of legitimate anti-fascists support deplatforming. Well, I appreciate that, Nuts. I do think my one-on-one -on -one debates are pretty goddamn good. But, I don't know, those are hard to do. And it's no, it's no shock to me, by the way... Um, that, like, a lot of the debate spaces, the audience is predominantly male. And I'm one of the few standouts there. Um, like, I, I, by the way, just so you know, 30%, like, so the, so I've, I've been getting percentages from other people, but 30%, over 30% of my audience, uh, according to YouTube analytics, is women. That is, like, massive for this space. And it's sad to me that that is considered massive for this space, because I would love to see more women and more femmes in my audience. But that is really good for this space. Yeah, 30%. It's fucking awesome. And I love you. I love you. My fucking femmes, I fucking love you. But most, most, most people's shows are like in the 10% range. Yeah, it's usually, it's usually 10%. Yeah. In, in debate spaces. We have like three times. And I always want to keep doing that. But uh, I think that we're going to have to wait on the panels and debates for now. Because it's it's not... Uh, maybe maybe one-on-one -on -one debates. You know, I'll probably do one, you know, one-on-one -on -one debates. But like... Like, it's just too much to ask. It's too much to ask for the, the drama. Like, eight months, guys. Guys, fucking eight... No, not even... It's nine, almost nine months now. It's almost the end of August. And I've started to forget, like, how... I've, like, I've started to forget the entire length of this year because of how fucked it's been. I know a lot of you don't even... Like, a lot of you are new to my channel. Um, Just, like, like, some of you remember what my life was like 
back in in uh, in January or December of last year, before um, b- before all the shit happened. Do, do you all remember how frequently did I talk about fucking harassment? It was like a handful of people who would come in one, from time to time. We would get a hate raid by Nazis and that would be it. And that was bad enough. But now it is never ending. I mean, it's never fucking ending. And it's been never ending for eight months. Eight fucking months of my life, guys. So... Yeah. I agree, Constance. So, yeah. Yeah, Twitch is not a safe space for women at all. No, it's really bad. Hey, Hiko Corgi, good to see you. I'm happy you enjoyed it. I I loved that interview. I still love that to this day. It's fucking fantastic. And, of course, there's the bots. We haven't even talked about the bots. That, like, Twitch is just completely seems completely incapable of addressing these bot um bot raids and we you know we've been getting the bot raids right we've been getting them both on youtube and on twitch sneech says uh any advice for women to looking to join the scene or should we just not oh god that is such a complicated question like i don't know how to answer that question sneech um god how do i how do i answer that it's fucking tough if you want to if you want to enter, if you want to start debating, just recognize that it's going to be difficult, that it's going to be painful. I wasn't ready for it. I thought like I, uh, I thought that I was ready for it because, um, because I was like, you know, I'm pretty tough. I do lots of debates. I do all kinds of stuff. Um, but like I wasn't, I couldn't have ever been ready for it. I couldn't have ever been ready for getting blown up one day and having thousands of people I've never even met thousands of people. You know what I mean? Like thousands of people coming to tell me how much of a per- of a piece of shit. Well, see, there's a problem with fem only panels, J- Jules Chrysler. Fem only panels makes it a uh. See, there's a there's a problem with that. Um, the 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 idea of a fem only panel, as as useful as they can be at times, and there are uses for them. But the problem with it is that a, a fem only panel. Um, like it, 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 it pigeonholes you, it ghettoizes, it creates a ghetto where, okay, the women, they go hang out over in that little hole and then the, the, and then the normal people go everywhere else. The men go everywhere, everywhere else. So there's this tiny little ghetto that all the women get jammed into. Yes, that's true. Psychosocialism. So when I, when to answer that question for Sneech, Right now, I think is a very rough time to try and get into the panel scene. I would be very careful about it. I would take your time. Um, and uh, and w- original content is always going to be more important than panels. Panels can't sustain a channel. You have to understand that. Uh, you can't. You, you just can't um, sustain a channel on panels alone. Um, so learn in the meantime. And there might be a day when the panel scene will, uh, you know, maybe it'll get, you know, it, maybe the, 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 the field of, the, of Twitch politics will lay fallow for a while and then it will become fertile again in time. Um, but in the meantime, focus on, on, on content. Oh, yeah, I know Bat Canary. Yeah, look at this. Bat Canary says they literally had a women-only panel on the same day as the as the Prime Kai's and Cat stuff, and there was st- and there was still a way to harass somebody, um, on that panel. Yeah, Maddie. Guys, like, look, I'm sorry. I don't care if you think. Uh, oh, okay. Um, Pierogi, just drop it right here. Just drop the link, and I'll I'll take it, and maybe we'll watch it at the end of stream or something. Um, Pierogi, go ahead and just send me the link in chat, and I'll grab it. Sorry. Um, Maddie, guys, like, holy fuck. I don't care if you think, like, Maddie was slightly irresponsible or wi- or jumped the gun or whatever. I don't fucking care. Like, the amount of harassment I've seen thrown at Maddie and the fact that, like, the predominant narrative is that 
that Maddie just made up everything? Come on, that's fucking stupid. That's literally the same thing that happened about me, where I was accused of faking the giant Nazi raid that, that damaged our Twitter presence, that damaged our Twitch presence, that damaged our Discord. We had to lock our whole Discord down, and I was accused of making that up. That's fucking stupid. This fucking shit is so dumb. And it happens all the time. Anytime... We all fucking know how bad the harassment is. But you guys don't... This is one thing that you guys will... Like, most of you will never get this. You never will understand what it's like to be told constantly that you're making everything up and that you're fucking insane. It is mass gaslighting. It is mass gaslighting that is just so fucked up. And it drives you insane until you just say, fuck it, I don't give a shit. Thank you, Tofan. I appreciate that. I don't know what Maddie did. That's the thing. I, I, I tried. I fucking tried to, to figure it out. Apparently, Maddie said, implied that Destiny was, was a sexual abuser. Uh, okay. So what? It's not like, it's not like Destiny doesn't do that every other fucking day. There's just Q, yeah, there's like QAnon levels of, of, of accusing. And that is the predominant narrative numerically online about this about Maddie, who is a small streamer. What is, let's just take a look for a second. Can we just take a look at this? Hold on a second. Let me just, I just want to bring up something. Yeah, yeah, Destiny literally called me a pedo. He called me all kinds of fucking shit. Here we go. Maddie Cakes, average viewers over the last 30 days. Maddie Cakes pulls 73 average viewers, okay? 73 average viewers. And holy shit. Actually, that's not even accurate because that rating, that, that includes a 5,000 person raid or something. Let's see. Let's look over the last 90. 42 over the last. Yeah, okay. So, 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 yeah. A, a fairer average for Maddie is about 40, 40 viewers or so, okay? So, uh, those 40 viewers, that for, that tiny community, even if Maddie said something really fucking, really fucking out of line, do you think that that person deserves to have tens of thousands of people calling them a, a lying, manipulative woman who's trying to undermine their enjoyment of the internet? Do you think that's at all, like, where on earth has the, the understanding of reciprocity gone you know yeah she was accused of faking death threats it's fucking stupid that's fucking ridiculous there is no even even if maddie did do something bad it is there is no chance in hell that that is a like a reciprocal response but this is constant I mean, this is the norm. I'm begging you to understand this. This is the norm. Every single fucking woman, every single fucking femme in this space has this happen. You say one thing out of line. Fuck you guys. My, my self-diagnosis take got me canceled for a week. A literal panel got devoted to my take. And when I say my take, to a specific person's read of my take on a video that was three weeks old that generated zero, zero controversy when it came out. This is so motherfucking constant. And I just want people to become aware of it. And I know that most of us here are aware of it. I'm probably preaching to the choir a little bit. But God, please, fucking God. Any advice for a fem NB looking into YouTube? All this makes me nervous. Listen, here's the advice I give to anyone, any fem person, NB or not, any fem leaning person, any person, honestly, specifically if you are marginalized in any way, if you're queer, if you're black, if you're, uh, you know, fem presenting, if you're marginalized at all and you're thinking about YouTube, learn as early as possible that uh, to, to, to who you can trust. Okay, 
Find co colleagues who are good to you. Find family members who will talk to you honestly and who can provide you critique. Find friends who can provide you healthy critique because the internet will not, at large, will not give you healthy critique. They will not. It will not happen. You cannot base your self-worth off the comments. You cannot base it off of the reception, quote unquote, of your videos. There is such a high chance that your video will get, um, like, attacked by some random fucking woman-hating piece of shit. And that, that, will, that will muddy the waters entirely. You have to find people who uh, you can actually trust. Okay? That's the one thing. That was th something that I wish I knew before going into this space, and I didn't. Catastrophe with the tier three sub. Thank you so very much. Your resilience inspired me to move forward with my transition. Thank you for being a strong femme voice in the space. Catastrophe, that sounds fucking awesome. Congratulations. You are the main source behind your transition. You are self-actualizing. I'm just a catalyst that can give you some helpful information. Who do you consider true allies? That's a really hard question. People who put up. People who don't just use words, but who use actions. Lindsay Ellis, ContraPoints, Cat Black, Cr Princess Weeks, and Sarah Z are examples of women who get harassed regularly over nothing. Nothing. They all sh all these women share in common is that they're in marginalized communities. If, if, if it... it, it if it's not that the person is a uh, uh, black indigenous person of color, it's because they're a woman. And if not those things, it's because they're queer. It's all excuses to uh, harass women, queer, and black and indigenous people of color. Yes. Notice that, notice that, okay. I, you could perhaps, if you really wanted to be super charitable to the people who harass me, you could say, I'm a loud, cunty bitch who argues about politics. What the fuck can you say about people like Sarah Z, who just makes videos who makes video, like, not even super political videos about online things. What could you say about Lindsay Ellis, who touches on politics from time to time, but mostly just does media analysis? What can you fucking say? There are so many fucking people who are so vicious to femmes. They are so fucking vicious to queer people. They are so fucking vicious to black people. They are so fucking vicious to indigenous people. No, and there's no need for it. It is pure cruelty and hate. Even if you disagree with everything that that person says, there is nothing that justifies this level of mistreatment. <sighs> and it makes me mad. We did. We watched it on stream. We watched the Lindsay Ellis thing on stream. We watched the cancellation video that Lindsay Ellis did, which I think is really good and also incredibly depressing. Where do we go from here and what can we do, if anything? I know we can do things, okay? Here's what we do. Where do we go from here? Well, I am not the panel space. The thing about a panel space is that a panel space relies on a culture being good. A, the culture is not good. Because a panel, by their nature, are pulling from a lot of different places, um, you have to have a reasonable culture to be able to sustain a reasonable panel scene. Um, and so I think that right now, uh, content creators who care about the space should shift their focus. We need to, we need to grow the, uh, the positive and uh and beneficial and mutual um cooperative collaborative parts of this space and i'm gonna do my best to do that okay it's hard i'm very bad at scheduling but one of the things i want to do is uh one of the things i really want to do is start collaborating more doing crossover fun projects we had an awesome stream hanging out with the goat and the goblin although the technicals were really messed up i want to do that stuff like that but more frequently. I want to do really cool projects, and also, I want to push more original content, because I think that this space can grow. I think this space can grow with good people faster than the bad people can grow it. Even though it's regrettable that people like Lauren Southern are flooding into this space, I think it's possible that if we keep growing it, if we make god-tier original content, people will not be able to resist us. 
They will. They want us so bad. You know they want that Demon Mama content. You know they want it. And I got some fucking ideas. I've got some shit cranking up here. You don't even know. You guys don't even know. It's going to be fucking great. Just just you wait. I've been... I've been. I, it's going to be a little while. I'm working on some cool ass stuff. But I promise you, I've got some good ideas.